I'm Brian. And I'm Natalie. And welcome to the Basecamp Barn Project. This episode, while we're on hold again, we install some siding on the shed. I'll explain a couple important details. And we explore Ure in the winter. Come along with us as we take a short break from getting back to work. Well, welcome back. We are kind of on a pause over here on the barn. It's pretty much ready to go. I got a few pieces just to put up. I'll cut up some strips and tie in the rest of these doors and windows that is too tight for any of the spray foam. And then uh, every time we get a windstorm, the walls move just a little bit. So I'm just basically going to leave them where they are until we get a date for a pour. And I'll fix them up either the morning of the pour or the night before. Because some of the stakes need to be restaked because it just blows them just enough to make them not where they were supposed to be. But it's basically ready to go. All the rebar's in where it needs to be. All the windows and doors are pretty darn square and pretty darn straight and pretty darn level. We got all the holes for anything to come through a wire or water like this could be a future water spigot. I've got a hole up there for a, a light on the side so every door has a, a light and so there's a hole here and there's a hole there and there's a hole there. So I got one inch PVC as a sleeve everywhere that I think we could possibly have something either electrical or water on the exterior of the building. All the holes over here for the uh, air conditioning system, the mini split, they're in. So I've got room for three uh, mini split uh, areas. There's a power, there's a, a uh, conduit for the umbilical cord, Here's a power, here's a, another possible power, you know, I just put in a couple extra just in case. I put in holes wherever I could because even if I don't use them, it's a lot easier just to stick a little foam in there and seal them up than try to drill through the concrete afterwards. Probably three or four days still before they come back from vacation. So that's why I'm working on the shed. I got the back wall finished so that our neighbor Doug doesn't have to look at ugly green anymore. <laughs> Finally got a corner detail done. So this is what it's going to look like down here at the rock. Not bad. Nice edge. We got some Z channel in. So we'll try to keep this edge as up an eighth of an inch. It's all got paint on it. Oh, it looks pretty good. I just need to get some more. So before I put this panel up, I just painted it. You know, any of the cut openings I paint just to help seal it up just in case. Especially here at the bottom. But while it's drying, I'm going to show you my detail I'm doing here for the electrical. I've already sealed up the wires with the liquid zip flashing. So that hole right there is, you know, sealed up and water and air impervious. So I've got a, a plastic tab screwed on box that's just screwed onto the uh, sheathing with my wire coming through we'll put the side on and it'll get all covered up and look pretty clean kind of like what I did up there if you can see way up there made all those boxes surface mounts and they're all going to be for the uh, light sensor and the uh, plug for 
Christmas lights and such. Anyway, before I put the siding up, I wanted to show you the detail there. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the detail that I'm working on to get this wall to breathe. So, you know, here's our trim for the above the garage door, and we've got a little bit of flashing taped to the zip panel. You can probably see the top of the tape right here. And then we put on the core vent about an inch off with the bug thing on the bottom, the little screen. And then we've got our furring strips, which I still have to put a couple more pieces on to fur out the siding. But here's a siding panel that's put on, and it's maybe a quarter inch below the, the bottom of the core vent, but it's still above the flashing. And this is venting, you know, through itself behind this panel all the way up. Let's see if I can get up there on the ladder. All the way up into here. See how this is going up into the roof. And so this is all getting vented. So it's all gonna get cocked. It's all, all gonna get sealed up. But it's venting through the bottom of that through this, behind the sheathing, or in front of the sheathing, but behind the siding, all the way up into the, into the ceiling, through this soffit, and then up out of the top of the steel up here. There's a vent up there with some holes in it, a Z channel vent up there. So that's how the siding is going on, is referring it out, and it's breathing the whole way from the very bottom to the very top and so when rain comes and hits it it falls off and it'll do its proper job and if anything happens to get behind it it's all going to evaporate and and breathe and be happy the paint that we're going to put on here will last twice as long if not longer because it's not going to be sitting up against the paneling uh, the sheathing really tight and not breathing. So that's part of this experiment is to see, you know, if all the stuff works, we should be able to feel the air coming, sucking in here, you know, on a warm day because that steel up there on the roof is gonna be heating up and, you know, hot to cold to hot. It wants to draw it out. So I'm pretty sure we're gonna be sucking air here like crazy. We're breathing at the bottom. Remember we put tape around around the bottom of that and taped it all in. So this is completely, you know, sealed at the bottom. You can even see the channel where this is holding it. Once it's done, you can't see that it's doing that. It's, you can't even tell that there's anything different about this, this build. And so that's kind of What's cool about it is, you know, it's kind of one of those hidden secrets.
really nice day, and we're going to take the afternoon off. Middle of January. Yeah, since it is the middle of January. It's Winter. <laughs> and drive up to see what your ray looks like in, in a January, since we've never been there in the winter time. We're going to go see what we can see. Do a little lunch recce. All right, we made it to Ure. Not as much snow as I expected to see on the roads, although we're standing in it right now. Yeah, there's more <laughs> snow here than there is just on the other side of town. But yeah, it's 42 degrees right here, maybe 45 in town, a little warmer. But all of the uh, weather that California is getting, I think is stopping in the Sierras and we're not getting that much of it. All of the mountains. Or maybe getting to Utah, but just not getting, Yeah. at least not that heavy. Because, um, I don't know, we're expecting more snow in the mountains here in the next couple of days. But the drive up was fairly dry, clean. Yeah. Roads I mean, are dry. Roads are dry even. And the fields and the farms and all the stuff around were no mm -hmm. snow. Not much. So here we are, mid-January almost. And I expected to see feet. <laughs> yeah, I expected a little more up here. But is what I thought. We were here a year ago about this time and mm -hmm. it was probably about the same. I don't recall it being, you know, feet of snow. So maybe they don't get feet of snow here in Ure. We'll see how the rest of the winter goes. Telluride maybe is a different story, but Ure here 